I know absolutely nothing about this game except that the person who made it is French. I, I don't know why I know that. French people? Making video games? Character with face and tears and there's stars. I'm just gonna rate the whole game like this. Reaching for the stars. Catching the stars. <laughs> Eating the star. We've awoken. The sky. The me. The me, but slightly closer to the camera. The me, but slightly closer to the camera with my eye closed. Sifrin! Sifrin! A shadow is cast over my dead body. Sifrin? Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. Hee <laughs> hee. I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow so we can finally face against the king. You're too sleepy to talk. Me, when I sit down to record a YouTube video, Video and overcompensate for my deep soul fatigue by yelling a lot. Sleep's sweet embrace calls for you. You close your eyes again. <laughs> You're still half asleep, aren't you? You make a grumbling sound. It probably sounds something like, uh... hmm. Okay then. You can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Don't enable me. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You yawn so hard your jaw cracks. You were having such a nice rest too. Ugh. You can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. Why not? You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. British boomers waking up for another day of being racist on Facebook all day. You've got a country to save. Oh, look, I've got, I've got a pointy hat. That's the aforementioned yelling to keep myself awake. Whoa, I press the menu screen just to look at the settings and I'm immediately met with characters I haven't even met yet. And Bonnie! Sifrin! You're up! You sure are. <laughs> hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. <laughs> so how was your nap on a scale of 1 to 10? Hey, you know, I'm gonna say a solid 9. Is it not a 10 because the finish could have used some work? We'll do better next time. Next time? Next time, I promise I'll let you sleep in so we can get the elusive 10 out of 10 score. Oh, wait, I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we could make it special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories. Maybe make out. What? It would be nice, wouldn't it? How is it different from what you usually do? Well, okay. <laughs> uh, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry, I was trying to find something fun to do tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Maybe we should forget about it. Oh no. Your lack of enthusiasm made Mirabel upset! Oh, that's... yeah, that's... that's me. That's me in real life. I never thought I would resonate with something written by a French person. <laughs> no, 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 I think it's fun, let's do it! Are you sure? Alright then. So if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I, I don't think... I think I could convince, convince everyone. Well, you kind of have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay, let me think. Madame Odile should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabelle is at the favor tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the east of town, right past the broken bridge. So you can just tell everyone to meet up there later. This is too much information. Where am I? That was a lot of names and places. Yes, it was. Can you give me some waypoints? Will you remember? Uh, probably not. Well, I'm related to your memory. Here's a note with everyone's location. Thank God. Just in case. You... Forget! Yeah, smart. You got the reminder note! Yo, they got souvenirs in this game. You can check your souvenirs by going into your pockets to access your pockets. Open the menu by pressing zero. The menu contains your pockets, your equipment, and many other things. You can interact with both times with your pockets by pressing space! Okay, see you at the clock tower later then. I'll be near the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the change god statue too. The what? We've got silver coins, some change you got from buying a croissant. French! And a reminder note. A note Maribel wrote for you in your sieve-like brain. You look at the note. Sifrin, don't forget to get everyone. You know what, I'm gonna write these down right now on a piece of paper that I have next to me because I'm an idiot moron with no object permanence. On the bottom of the paper, a crafted drawing animates back and forth. It's some kind of thick, flowy line. What is it? You should ask her. You can talk to the bird! You actually can! I just didn't know it was spacebar. The bird chirps. Hell yes, they do. Oh! Invoke guard. They say birds go P.O. P.O. I read that as pee pee poo poo. <laughs> Can't believe the bird actually had dialogue, dude. That's crazy. Oh, you... Uh, house. <laughs> you know, the end of the world is fine and all, uh, but I only have one regret. Regret? I won't be able to know what happens to Lord Joseph Andre in the final issue of The Cursing of Chateau Castle. Did he manage to protect his castle to the very end? Did he finally find his friend Pierre Jacques This is too... I can't... French! Oh, I'll never know. Is that really what they're worrying about today? A book series? Not the imminent death or anything? This door must lead to the rest of the house, but you can't go there. You've been told going farther than the first room in other people's houses is very rude. So true. Now let's see what this is. It's some flowers. They smell like flowers. <laughs> it's a closet. It's filled with many beautiful dresses. A dresser. Do not touch! My unmentionables are inside. You leave the dresser alone. You! You! I don't 
don't have anything to say. I was stalling for a joke and nothing happened, so that's what you're getting. Something about this being my default running speed is really manic. <laughs> wait, you, what are you, you, who are you, you, wait, you, you, wait, you, wait, you, 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 you. Oof, look at you. So scrawny, scrawny one. Did you know that you can press shift to run, buddy? Um, I've been doing that. I've been doing that by default. You should give it a try sometime. Oh, and did you know that you can turn on always run in your options menu? And already was. You can run all the time. Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing shift makes you run? Did you know that you can run all the time by going into the options menu? Do you run? Do you like running? More of a lazy take it easy type. This I mean, understandable. You look like you've never ran a day in your life, so you need to build up those muscles! Get fast! Get swole! Press shift away! Rude. This is not good, man. This game's dialogue is catnip to me. <laughs> it's not- it's like, it's, it's your permission to yell. I should pick a good spot to be frozen in. Ah, not that I think you won't win tomorrow, of course. I have faith you'll win, of course. Fishing one. <laughs> I am fishing! Fishing time. You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. <laughs> You got anything else to say? <laughs> All right. Oh my gosh, she's Mirabelle. She drew a thick, flowing line on the reminder note. What's that about? It's a flowing ribbon, silly. Like the one in my hair, see? Oh, I don't like her. You're one of the people traveling with that Mirabelle, aren't you? Shut up about Mirabelle. What about me? What about me? I've got a pointy hat. <laughs> yeah, I like going into strangers' homes. Don't we all? Since you're here, can you help me? I'm trying to figure out which necklace to give my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife. <laughs> I like the teardrop one better. You're right. I think she'd be happy about this one. Hey, make sure to defeat the king tomorrow, okay? I'd like to ask my wife which one she actually prefers. The woman sits here frozen in time. That's messed up. Wait, time? Is this game's premise gonna have something to do with time, perhaps? Okay, before I finally can stop my list and find these people, let's pray to the change god. Statues, big and small, all with different faces. Some of them have sad eyes, others a bright smile. The change god. The deity worshipped by all of the country of Vogard stands before you. Ominous music? Oh, it's like the opening to Wind Waker! It was almost a year ago now that the king appeared, seemingly out of nowhere. Possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Vogard, freezing in time everything in its path. His victory would be all but determined if not for Mirabelle, making her the only one able to save Vogard. God damn it, she's a main character. <laughs> when you met her, she was already traveling with Isabelle and Odile, trying to get the orbs necessary to open the house's gates and defeat the king. You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. A few weeks later, you met Bonnie, completing your little team. You actually feel a little more powerful? You do a little flourish with your dagger. <laughs> Great. You dropped your dagger. <laughs> Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. That's why they call it a statue. A deal! So you want me in the front again? Leading everyone if possible. You've already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive, so I don't see why that has to change. Okay, I'll see you at the clock tower later then. It's a barrel. Oh, I can sit on this stool! Woo! Yeah! <laughs> to me, the measure of a good video game is if walking in the direction of a stool makes you hop onto it with a cute sound effect. Tutorial Kid, hey, you, the strange adult with a hat. My name is Tutorial Kid. Tutorial Kid has the name of Geth sewn into her clothes. My mum says you're very strong and you're gonna help save us all, but I need to challenge you to know your strength, so. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. I accept your challenge. Yeah! Rock, paper, scissors. The only fight there is. You know how to play rock, paper, scissors, right? Duh. Of course you do. What kind of person doesn't know rock, paper, scissors considering it's the basics of combat, of war, of life? According to the laws of this village, you have one rock, paper, scissors game. This was an intense battle. Thank you for fighting with me. Time juice makes everyone faster. Apparently this is a fun wordplay in some languages. Yo, they got round hat in this game? That's me, it's you, it's me. Is that a sheep? <coughs> I've met another one of you earlier. They smelled like snacks. They went to look at my veggie field, talked to me about my veggie field, and went back to look at my veggie field. <laughs> they said my vegetables looked really shiny and delicious, so I would die for them now. <laughs> All of us in Dilmon talked a few days back and we decided that while you'll be exploring the house to fight the king, everyone in the village will be partying! That way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. But if you don't and we all get frozen by the king's curse, we'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. Beautiful cutlery. <laughs> That's a barrel! Bonnie! Me. Hey friend. What do you want? Unless you manage to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. What will you do after? If we beat the king? I'll go and see my sister at Babouche. Duh. Then? 
and then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really tried. Mm, what about you anyway? What will you do? I'll go to space. The sign says favor tree. What? The sign says favor tree. What? <laughs> Issa! Sif! Issa! Sif! Issa! Sif! You both laugh. Ha 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 ha. You talked it is a bleh! My hat kind of looking like a bag right now. <laughs> Let's go to bed. But I don't wait if you want. The house's gate. You look up at it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it then. Orb, 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 orb. Whoa! It's the doorway is opening. Oh my gosh. We're in. <laughs> the immediate speed is insane. <laughs> this looks like I'm playing Snake. <laughs> I love the scrolling background. I'm really enjoying that. Up ahead, that's a sadness. What the hell is that? What am I looking at right now? <laughs> what? Remnants of the people that were defeated by the king. Jesus Christ, it's a corpse. Their grief and sadness is all that remains. Jesus Christ, it's a grief corpse. Yeah, rock, beat, scissors. Yahoo! You breathe in and out. 100 EXP received. <laughs> we did it! Going through the house will be a piece of cake! You smile and take the lead. <gasps> I want to help too! What is she doing? Bloody mist. <laughs> the house is supposed to be a safe building, but with the king here, some traps might be activated. Traps? Traps? A job for me then. <gasps> there is something. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so are we safe? There's nothing weird in here. But there must be! Bell, Bell, don't worry about it. Friend isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. See? Everything's fine. As you live through the novel experience of having your body crushed by a giant rock, you died. What? Start again. <laughs> Loop one. Huh? Sifrin! Sifrin! Good morning! Well, well, like, good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. I guess that's smart. We better get some rest while we can. We have to get ready for tomorrow, so we can finally face against the king. Huh? You're still half asleep, aren't you? You just look at her. Hmm. Okay then, you can sleep for a little longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? Huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think? You must have. You were in the house and then a big rock fell and now you're in the meadow back at Dormar and what Mirabo just said to you waking you up that was very, very familiar. But ah, uh, the, the trap, the trap. You idiot, you stupid fool. It's your job to take care of traps and you got taken out immediately. You didn't even see a glimpse of the king. And it's your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead, to take care of traps. You couldn't even do your job and now you're dead because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. And you died, you died. You felt your body being crushed and now you're laying on the grass alive and your skin is just in your stomach because you died! You put your hands over your mouth and you scream! <laughs> Stars! You're so stupid and useless and dumb! 28 exclamation marks! <laughs> okay, you're over it now. <laughs> you take a deep breath in. And out. Phew! Back to work, Zifrin. You have a country to save. <laughs>